Thank you, Chairman. I am highly thankful to Baloch Human Rights Council for organizing this event at front of the United Nations at the occasion of 54th Human Rights Council session. So, actually, at this event, you cannot imagine how we are. Our hearts are bleeding when we use to refer any acts and events of human rights violations, particularly with respect to Baluchistan. So there are no words by which we can express our feelings and express the feelings of the people who are suffering back at home. There are no words to express the views of those mothers, sisters, daughters, wives, whom loved ones have been disappeared by the Pakistani forces lingering in the army torture cells, some from many months and some from many years. There are, there's no way to share the cries, the tears of our loved ones who are crying on daily basis from more than 5,000 days they are continuously crying at different platforms at Karachi, Quetta, Islamabad to ask the state that where are our loved ones, what is their fate and asking the state to bring them to a court of justice. Unfortunately, a state which was created artificially by the help of the British that violated those laws, those agreements and those sand and still agreement which they signed with us that Pakistan accepts the sovereignty of the Balochistan but unfortunately on 27 at the 27th March 1948, Han forces entered into Bulusan and occupied our land. Since then, Bulusan is under occupation. Every aspect of life and every town and uh, and the tiny village has seen bombardment. Our waters, you cannot imagine the waters they are flowing in the mountains. They have uh, uh, bombardment of uh, particles. And the state is doing it intentionally. They have, you know, put, 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 put. These bombardments instruments in the water to kill the people who try to even drink water if he or she is living thousands of kilometers away from any town. On the other side, there are pictures about CPEC. The reality is this, and the UN herself, international laws, declare this thing. Any project which is against or without the consent of the local people is an illegal project, particularly referring to mega projects. And China, being a member state of United Nations, is violating this law in front of all those member states that the Baloch people people are crying that we are under occupation and Pakistan does not have any sort of mandate to make any sort of agreements with any other country but China has done that we see Canada is also there and we are seeing Saudi Arabia is also coming over there so this is a call from our people at least Pakistan is treating us as a colony but you other member states shall respect those laws which instruments you have signed so Canada, Saudi Arabia, China keep away from Bustan thank you sir thank you Manir, thank you very much for your talk uh, we again I want to repeat that uh, we don't have much time and